Hi, brothers and sisters. I just wanted to jump on here real quick. It's really early here, but I just, I need to reach out for prayer. If you could pray for me and pray for my husband, because, um, Yesterday, he didn't get home until after 7 last night because he had a, a dentist appointment to go and get some teeth worked on because he was in pain. And when he came home, he told me that while he was out, he went and got the you-know-what. I'm just devastated. I didn't get very much sleep. I'm just, I just at this point don't know what this means because our household is already spiritually divided. And, uh, you know, I speak scripture to him, and, uh, you know, that just doesn't help. I find myself going through a lot of the same emotion as you go through when somebody grieves, being sad, being mad, just being in denial, just... I'm just devastated. I don't I don't really know what this means. There's been so much research. I've been telling him. I mean, honestly, the Lord has had me do a two-week Bible study, and you know, because I shared that study with you. The Lord didn't need to do that for me because I already knew to stay away from it. He did that to give Adam the wisdom, and he refused to listen. And then last night I showed him a video that I posted where a demon was speaking through a lady talking about it was from it was from them and what their plan is through it. He wouldn't listen to that either. So he's not listening to God and he's not listening to a demon saying that it's not from God. I just don't know what else I could have did. At this point I'm just praying. Uh yesterday while I was in my prayer closet the Lord prepared me and told me that I was going to have some warfare with him. I just, he didn't tell me that it was going to be about this. I just assumed, I guess, that it was going to be about the pain that my husband's been going through with his teeth. And <clears throat> I wasn't it at all. So I really don't know what this means. Our household is already divided. Last night we were up for three hours. Just going over everything. And I just, he's so offended with me because, you know, he's the one that's said I've taken all the sorcery out of the house. We don't, you know, have anything in our home. You know, we changed everything for the Lord and I do this. And, and I said, yeah, but you put sorcery in you. Because according to Revelation 18, I think it's verse 20, or this, the, where it talks about sorceries deceiving the whole nation. You look up sorcery in Greek and it's pharmakia. Pharmakia is a use or ministering of drugs. That just makes them blow his top. And, uh, you know, I told him he had scales over his eyes. He's not willing to see. The Lord told me yesterday, those who are asleep at this point will remain asleep, and those who are awake will remain awake. The only hope that there is for people at this point is accepting Jesus as their Lord and Savior. People are still waking up to that. They're still accepting him. It's just hard. I don't... I don't know what to do. I've heard a lot of doctors talk about shedding. So I'm going to be praying Psalms 91 over myself. Just hope that this doesn't lead to bigger issues. Alright, i got to go get my children up. Uh... I might check in with you guys later if the word if the Lord gives me a word I'll I'll be back on. I can't stop working for the Lord because I'm I'm heartbroken. I got to I got to get into my word. Um and I'll be back if the Lord has me back. <laughs>